Which dog breeds live the longest? Scientists from Great Britain conducted research to estimate the lifespan of dogs depending on the breed. Based on data regarding nearly 600,000 dogs from over 150 different breeds found that smaller dogs with long snouts, such as miniature Dachshunds, lived the longest. Small dog breeds with long muzzles or long noses, dolichocephalic, have the highest life expectancy, at least those in the UK. This is according to research published in the journal, Scientific Reports. These results were obtained on the basis of data on over 580,000 dogs from over 150 different breeds. They can help identify dogs most at risk of premature death. Behind the research is a team of scientists led by Kirsten Macmillan from Dogs Trust, a British charity. The researchers set out to assess how the average lifespan of dogs varies depending on a wide range of factors, including breed, size, muzzle shape and gender. For this purpose, they collected a database containing information on 584,734 dogs. They used 18 different sources across the UK, including breed registries, veterinarians, pet insurance companies, animal welfare charities and various academic institutions. The dogs analyzed in the study came from one of 155 pure breeds or were classified as mixed breeds. The works included the breed, gender, date of birth and date of death, if applicable, of the dogs. Dogs were also divided according to size into small, medium or large. They were also differentiated in terms of head shape, dolichocephalic or long-nosed, mesocephalic or medium-nosed, and brachycephalic or short-nosed. Median life expectancy was then calculated for all breeds individually and for the mixed breed group, and finally for each combination of sex, size and head shape. Well, sex. Muzzle shape and body size have been factors in dogs' longevity in previous studies. No one has examined the interactions between them or the potential link between evolutionary history and lifespan, Macmillan said. The results showed that small dolichocephalic breeds of both sexes, such as miniature Dachshunds and Shetland Sheepdogs, had the highest life expectancy of 13.3 years. On the other side were the medium brachycephalic breeds, which had the lowest life expectancy of 9.1 years for males and 9.6 years for females. A medium-sized male with a flat muzzle, such as an English bulldog, is almost three times more likely to have a shorter lifespan than a small female with a long muzzle, such as a miniature Dachshund or an Italian Greyhound, Macmillan said. The mentioned English Bulldogs and French Bulldogs, i.e. brachycephalic breeds, live shorter than their cousins. In the case of French Bulldogs, named the most popular breed in the United States by the American Kennel Club last year. That number was just 9.8 years. Other previous studies have examined the reasons for the popularity of such breeds. This work suggested that dogs' short and relatively flat snouts may resemble human babies, which is what makes them so popular. However, these breeds have a number of health problems, including breathing difficulties and skin problems. The longest living dogs, according to this study, 
are Lancashire Healer dogs with an average lifespan of 15.4 years, followed by Tibetan Spaniels, 15.2, and Miniature Dachshunds, 14 years. Among the 12 most popular breeds, which accounted for over 50% of all pure breeds registered in the database, Labradors live the longest. Their average life expectancy is 13.1 years. For pure breeds, the median life expectancy was slightly higher than for mixed breeds, 12.7 and 12 years, respectively. In terms of gender, female dogs had a higher average lifespan 12.7 years compared to 12.4 years for males. The authors note that their results are representative only of UK dogs. They also suggest that future research should separately examine the so-called designer breeds, such as Labradoodles and Cockapoos to account for the different levels of genetic diversity between these dogs and crossbreeds. A Super Earth has been discovered 137 light years away. The planet may have a companion 137 light years away in an extremely tight orbit around its star. Orbits a rocky planet with a radius 55% larger than the radius of the Earth. This is Toy 715b. This planet is located in the so-called the habitable zone, i.e. the zone around the star in which the prevailing conditions could enable the existence of liquid water, which in turn could favor the emergence and development of living organisms. Astronomers suspect that a second planet similar in size to Earth may also orbit this star. The discovery of a planet outside our solar system was so rare until recently that each new detection was quite an event. Nowadays, however, an extrasolar planet has to stand out in something to make it famous. The exoplanet Toy 715b, and its possible companion Toy 715c, is distinguished by its location and size. A description of the research and observations of TOI 715b was published in the journal, Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. When looking for life in space, scientists base their efforts on what they know, and so far they only know one planet where life has developed, Earth. Therefore, the search for extraterrestrial life focuses on rocky worlds similar to ours, located at an appropriate distance from the star, with similar mass, atmosphere and surface temperatures. In their observations, scientists pay attention to the conditions that allowed living organisms to develop on Earth. One of them is the so-called ecosphere, ecozone or habitable zone. This is the zone around the star where conditions are suitable for maintaining liquid water on the planet's surface, which could enable the emergence and development of life. Most of the exoplanets we have discovered orbit too close to their stars for life as we know it to develop. The tight orbit means the planet is bathed in the star's radiation and makes it much too hot on the surface. Of the more moderate temperature exoplanets discovered, most are gas giants. The predominance of larger worlds in the catalogue of planets we have discovered is because it is much easier for astronomers to spot large planets close to their star. 
There is also the concept of the so-called conservative and optimistic ecosphere. The conservative option means a distance from the star that can provide the planet with the right temperature for liquid water to exist on its surface. For surface water to exist, other conditions would have to be met, such as the appropriate atmosphere. This is a more stringent definition and is intended to eliminate worlds that are too hot or too cold to support liquid water. Toy 715b is located in the conservative habitable zone. Its temperature, according to preliminary measurements, should be appropriate to maintain water in a liquid state. The planet was discovered using the TESS observatory, but other telescopes will soon be used to observe it, which should provide astronomers with more data. The potential companion planet, Toy 715c, may be only slightly larger than Earth and may also lie within the conservative habitable zone. However, its existence has yet to be confirmed. Toy 715b orbits its host star, a red dwarf. In just 19 days, red dwarfs are smaller than stars similar to our Sun and much cooler. They are also the most common type of star discovered by astronomers. Scientists estimate that the TOI 715 star is approximately 6.6 .6 billion years old. It is not known whether Toy 715b has an atmosphere. Red dwarfs tend to have frequent bursts of radiation, which could have stripped a planet of its atmosphere, especially one orbiting so closely. In this context, Toy 715b's larger size and possibly stronger gravitational pull could be an advantage. This increases the chances of maintaining an atmosphere in the company of a red dwarf, if the planet has one. The presence and strength of the magnetic field will also play a role here. If the existence of a second Earth-sized planet in the system is confirmed, it will become the smallest planet in the habitable zone discovered by TESS to date.